everybody and welcome on back to building with whip today is episode 151 last two episodes we did an awesome world tour going around our entire world with wells knight for those of you who have not heard of him before you definitely need to go check him out he's an amazing youtuber you guys definitely got to go check out what he's got going on over there and also be sure to go over to his latest video and tell him a big thank you for me that was so so kind of him for for him to join us on the world tour here had a great great bunch of fun with him and it was super cool kind of showing off the world to somebody who i've always been looking up to as a great minecraft builder so it was really cool being able to kind of show off what my own work there has been over the past year or so and it was really really fun anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed touring around the whole world here we're inside the city uh port latour as we're just kind of checking out a few things that we've been working on over the last 10 or so episodes that being said though, we got a lot of new stuff that we needed to start kicking on here and moving forward with. I do have a question for you guys though as we start this episode out. I've been playing with the idea instead of having our episode number creeping up higher and higher and higher on the video titles and on the tags and all that stuff that goes forward, I've been thinking about changing it over to having basically like say Port Latour episode, I think we'd be on like 20 or something like that. So basically it'd be like that. We'd spread all the projects up into like custom mountain range episode 50. We'd have maybe like a small farming town down there episode one or when we start a new project. And so we could have all these different ways of splitting it up. So what I'm curious to hear from you guys is would that make things too confusing for you guys trying to find the episodes going forward? Because I don't really want to make it confusing on your guys front, but I'm trying to think of ways to because obviously when the series gets up into the very, very high episode numbers, regardless of us starting new projects constantly, it looks like there's just these giant episodes kind of creeping up way off into the distance. And that can be seen kind of as a negative. So let me know what you guys got to say about that one. I'm really curious to hear your guys thoughts on it. Make sure you guys go say hi to Wells Knight for me. Give him a big old thank you shout out uh, inside his comments for joining us because that was so much fun. So make sure you guys go check him out. Anyways, today though, what we're going to be working on is we are going to be working on building up a brand new fishing boat. These little guys on this side are a little too small though. So I'm thinking we're actually going to go ahead and come on over to this side. Basically, I have an idea in mind and it involves a 20 long boat and then it's going to be nine wide. So how long do we got right here? One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that'd bring him 13 so it'd be 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20. that basically brings him like halfway out here which is really what we don't want as there'd be no boats they're able to get back here so what i'm thinking instead of that though we could go ahead and probably throw this guy over in this little area right here and kind of see what we can do to make it look super cool right in here. Maybe we actually go ahead and make it going right along this strip. That might actually be a good idea. So we don't really have one like parked here, but because this guy's so long, he fills up that whole area. And then we can have a boat parked in this spot and then one parked in this spot. I think that'd be a cool way. So they're not all going in this direction. So I'll tell you guys what, I need to go ahead and get like a base outline of this thing in here because I really, really struggle with the boats right now still and just kind of finishing up making them look super cool but i'll tell you guys what i'm loving these shaders right now and i'm loving this view right here so i'm gonna leave you guys with a little bit of eye candy we can just watch the sunset right over here so i'll be back with you guys after we got that overlay done or outline done All right, with this guy in place, you guys should now be able to get a pretty decent idea of everything that we want to get going on here for the boat. This is obviously the back of the boat. Probably not obviously, but that's the back of the boat. And then it comes swooping down throughout there. Here's kind of the general width that it's going to be at is that right there. These are actually going to be the edges. So we're going to, oop, sorry, buddy. Uh, we're going to have like the inside standing area be from here to over to here. Here's where one of our masts is going to be. And then up here is what I'm thinking will be at the front of the boat. So this one's going to be kind of like, it's going to be a bit of like a fat kind of short boat, <laughs> I guess you could call it. I don't really know what I'm doing with this so far, but that's kind of my general idea here. I wanted to go ahead and really mess around with this and see what we could come up with. My first boat design without going off of looking at another boat. And I'm super pumped to give this one a shot. So you guys will have to let me know. I, actually, I haven't done any like 
testing of this in another world right here. I'm really just making it up as we go. I had a general idea of like a shape of a boat that I wanted to try and achieve here for a, it's either gonna be like a fishing boat or like a pseudo small, like short distance trading boat. And I think it'll be pretty cool. So hopefully this guy does come together pretty well. That being said though, we gotta figure out what we're gonna be doing down here. So now this guy, I wanna go ahead and kind of start bringing things out here just a little bit onto the side so we can get a little bit of extra detail. I think right here we probably wanna go ahead and start sloping these things out just a little bit more to kind of help bring it up. And we wanna really focus on getting in these curves, lining up really well with the base of everything we have going on here. So as you guys can see, we are using Acacia for everything that'll be underwater besides that central strip for the boat. And I love those boats that have that red underbelly to them. So you can like know when they're capsized or when like the, what part of them is supposed to be sitting on the water is correctly sitting there. But that's the goal I wanna be achieving with this guy. That being said though, what if we go ahead and bring this all straight up to here and probably right here, since we're kind of bringing this all up together, we really wanna go ahead and start arching that stuff up. So making it a little bit more steeper going up there with the front of the boat. I think that's probably gonna be pretty good. Then we can go ahead and come along this point back here. I, all this kelp is just in the freaking way, man. Let's go ahead and just get cut all this stuff down. It can, it'll all grow back up as it comes around. Just clear all this stuff out. Just get it all way down there. That's totally fine. And now all the floating blocks are in the way. Okay, this guy, however, right here, I'm thinking we want to go ahead and probably just bring straight along here. And I'm thinking at this point, we go ahead and maybe do that guy right there. Uh, what if we go ahead and make it look like it's a little bit skinnier? So it's just barely coming out from that bit. I think that'd be a cool way to kind of take it here. Maybe maybe we bring it back to there for now. I want to really focus on getting this front part finished up here with you guys. So going to do a little bit of building here until it gets into the way, way nighttime. We'll see what we can come up with. This guy, we want to obviously go to bring that out a little bit more right there. Then back here, well, you can probably just go ahead and bring you out like that as well, bringing this stuff all the way out here, just trying to create this as smoothly over, like taking over this point as we possibly can. Uh, throughout here, let's go ahead and just bring it out to there and maybe you, and we can bring that up. And then from there, probably just go ahead and just kind of straighten it out a little bit on top. That could work. Um, let me go ahead and mess around with what I want to do on this front area right here. Cause I was thinking maybe we go ahead and do something there, but that kind of is really consistent looking. What if we came in here and I know it's super dark now and there's a lot of cars going by. So I'm sorry about that. What if we came in here and did this brought you out to there and then go ahead and literally just kind of bring this one in right here. And I don't like how kind of far down that is. So let's go and do that. That looks pretty good right now. Let me go ahead and figure out the rest of the shape of this guy and I'll be back with you guys as soon as I can. All right, welcome back everybody. So we got this cool area here, pretty much set up and ready to go for us to finish building in or at least get to start working on building in as far as and we're in the water. Uh, I got the whole of the boat filled in here and cleared out of all of the water as you guys can see here right in front of your very own eyes. I know it's great, right? It's like magic, it just happens like that. It's so fast. No, this actually took a while to get right. I'm really happy with the bottom side though. We can dip underwater here as our, all of our seagrass and kelp and everything is growing back up and making the view very, very difficult. It's looking really cool under here. I do like the shape of this one so far. Now that I'm seeing it kind of in that completed format that I wanted, I still think that I probably want to stretch this house maybe like three blocks longer that way, but we're not going to do it. We're going to keep it like this. I think it'll be pretty cool. That being said though, we can go ahead and start taking a look up here to the top side of it. And I wanted to go ahead and this side is the front and I want to focus on building up our actually no, we can go ahead and build up the front here. So we're going to basically go ahead and bring these guys in like this. I want to kind of do that same sloping up pattern that I've done before. Uh, but here we're going to make it just a little bit more intense, I guess you could say. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump down to here we're, it'll make a lot more sense kind of as we work all this stuff out. I'm basically just bringing these all up as their own kind of front straight lines. Down at this level, we're gonna go ahead and buff him out right there and then bring all these up. As you can see, we got that guy narrowed in there. Go bam and bam. And I was thinking that would probably be pretty good for that front slope. I want this to feel pretty flat and just kind of dropping straight down to the water. And then underneath it all is kind of where it all curves down. So I kind of like that flat look of just dropping straight into the water. I think from far away, which is kind of the goal where I feel like we're gonna be viewing this stuff. We're not gonna be down here along the water too much. I think it fits it really well. However though, it's nighttime again for every time I record. Let me sleep real fast. Okay, so this guy, we're basically gonna go ahead and bring this strip all the way down here for the backside. And then right here, I'm thinking we're actually gonna go ahead and do a little buff up point right there. We can make this guy come down to here, which will be pretty good. And then we can start moving this stuff up just straight up the side. 
the goal right along here is basically to start just bringing this up to a next level so we can kind of connect up to that height is my thought here. And I think it should be pretty cool um, as far as where we can get it to. Well, if we go ahead and just kind of come in through this area, bring in this stuff up right here. So we're going to have that start right there. We can go to bring another one in right here. And I'm thinking this guy, we can go ahead and kind of just buff that up right to there. Uh, maybe not this full block. That looks like it's a little too tall, but we can go and maybe do something right in here. Back in this point, however, I'm thinking down here, we go ahead and kind of stretch this out just to widen it just a little bit. Then right throughout here, I'm thinking we go ahead and do like a little half slab guy right there. And then this point, of course, we're probably going to, hmm, do we want to go ahead and bring like a full block in here? What are we thinking? Maybe we go ahead and let that guy have his point right there and we go ahead and bring it up something like this, maybe just kind of to really bring it, like stretch it out just a little bit more so we can have everything kind of coming up to that flat level. So it makes it just look a little bit more pointed down there in the base, smooths itself out here along the top. I think that'll help us out a lot. This guy, however, right throughout here, I'm thinking we basically want to go ahead and just kind of bring all this stuff up directly to this top point. But overall, I think we'll be okay kind of coming right through here. And I want to make it so we have that. Then it kind of bumps out to there and comes into this guy, though. So I'm going to try and see if I can't figure out how we could go ahead and fix this roof up. Or not this roof, this wall up right here. Make it look a little bit better. So I'll tell you guys what. Let me go ahead and mess around with monkeying around with this guy here for just a little bit longer. Because I'm thinking like... Right in here might be a cool spot to have a window go into the inside area, but we gotta figure out what's going back on with this section. So I'll be back with you guys just in a little bit once I can figure this half out. And I'll tell you what, I might go ahead and get our floor placed in here as well. We'll see kind of how this all is looking. I'm just gonna use some oak slabs for the floor and it might be best to do that and then move on to something else. All right, I've been doing some work guys and I wanna bring you all in to take a look at this guy. From a distance, it's looking a little bit like a boat. I almost wish we had like vertical half slabs so I could round those pieces off there and just smooth them out that much more. It's got that boat shape too and I'm starting to like it. I think I need to work on those sails a bit more and make them look up, or not the sails, the mass height and see what we can get up there with them a little bit better. But that being said, overall, pretty happy with this guy. Can we end a pearl over here? Is that going to be a uh, spot on? Yep. Oh, hello. Wind to the roof. So yeah, I came in here and put in the floor. It's looking pretty solid. We got all this stuff in here, just kind of a raised area up here. I want to just have a little bit of variety so we can have just kind of everything working on its own different levels. I think it's really going to help us out here. That being said, I did come through and kind of work on bringing in this whole other side of the boat, bringing up the dark oak part. I'm not super happy with it yet. I think it's a little bit too much dark oak for my personal liking, but that's okay. We're going to deal with it kind of as we go. I do want to go ahead and up here actually bring in a floor at this point. So I do obviously need to get a little bit more oak wood and stuff like that on me. What I want to focus here with you guys is building up this front entryway. And I was thinking we could go ahead. I did add a second sail onto the back. If you guys are seeing that, that is uh, going to be there for a good. So I was thinking we could go ahead and do something like that and then maybe bring in our dark oak and do something like bam and bam and kind of helping to really like wind this area out a little bit more so we could do something like this. And I'm also thinking about bringing strip dark oak in to this area just as some way of breaking up this stuff and giving ourselves a different way of kind of getting around. My thought was that we could go ahead and do like this. Nope, you're not supposed to go there. Up to here. And then that kind of brings us into this next level. So obviously we are exactly one oak stair short. And we're a handful of everything else oak wise short as well. So let's go ahead and craft up another one of those sections. We can do, nope. I hate how fast those change. I wish that you could like, when you started clicking on one of them, it would stay. I feel like that'd be a great improvement. So I want to go ahead and do this. Then we're bringing everything up to this height right throughout here. Uh, let's see. What do we do with you? We're going to be right there. Break you. Get this thing in place in right there. And I think this is going to give us a cool little upper area. Then up here, yeah, we won't be able to place anything down. But one, it'll make it mob proof because we're doing this on the half slab height. So you'll see that'll break out everything there. But I think it'll be a good way of kind of having this upper deck area ready to go. As in, like, if they're traveling, they can store some things up here. They can strap them down. But for the most part, everything they do is down in this area. I still do need to find a way that we're going to actually go ahead and get to the underside of the deck. Because that, I feel like I've decided this is going to be more of a trading vessel than a fishing boat of sorts. So I figured down underneath the deck is where they're going to be storing a lot of stuff. So maybe they have, like, in this area right here is, like, a little quick way to get down into here. Because there's so much space into the belly of the ship for where they could just store goods. And I wanted to actually go ahead and just kind of fill in this base area right here. Uh, let's go ahead and actually do it with acacia. We can go ahead and just throw a bunch of acacia down in here. Just kind of to help one to smooth it out. And this will actually give an illusion of the boat being larger than it is. So if you look at this now, 
that actually feels larger. To me personally, it feels like that's a lot. Oh, hello, water. Get out of here. And there goes my other torch. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think this will make the area feel larger, just kind of as like an optical illusion. Yes, we're taking blocks away, but I think overall it'll give it more space and more structure, which is really awesome. Uh, that being said, though, we do need to go ahead and get up here and do a little bit of work on this stuff. Kind of as we're going throughout, I'm going to go ahead and close this gap for now because so, I don't want to be falling down there. I do want to go ahead and get an idea in my brain for what these masks are going to be looking like. I have an idea of kind of having them go more or less something what can we bring in here so like dark oak slabs just kind of having them coming out at like an angle something like this as like the base and then well we're in the water that sucks <laughs> then moving back again along that back point and then kind of not out that far obviously but kind of angled there angled there then this guy can be a smaller one angled there and angled there i don't know that's what i'm thinking of i think that'll help out a lot I haven't got into the mass yet, guys, but I decided to go out and start messing around with bringing some additional colors into this build. And now that I'm looking at it, I kind of want to see what it would look like if we just literally brought you right there. That actually helps to kind of bring that in together a little bit well. It's a little bit of like a merging point. But I went ahead and brought in the strip dark oak uh, bark block. And then I did the same with the acacia down there. And I think it adds a cool little strips of color along here to kind of help brighten this area up and make it just look a little bit better. And it also almost merges the two areas together a little bit more. So I'm thinking about bringing this all the way along the front here, just kind of filling in these different areas. Uh, so we can go ahead and do bam and bam. I'm trying to make sure that I save these bark blocks as much as possible because they're kind of a pain in the butt to get. <laughs> I've realized after using them for a while now that bark blocks are a big pain like for how much you get out of them and how useful they are they are a big pain to get oh man uh let's go ahead and okay yeah so we're gonna go and do this right here and that we go ahead and bring in you like that perfect okay so then i was thinking additionally beyond that along the front there i want to go ahead and add a few little vertical strips right here to help give a little bit of an accent to it so we could go ahead and bring like maybe like right back throughout here uh break you get that guy back. So I was thinking something right there just kind of help bring out the corners of this build on the back here. Cause right now it feels a little chubby. It's got, a, it's got a big back end. We'll, we'll go with that one. It's got a big butt to it. Uh, but overall, I think that'll help kind of bring the general shape of it out. Sorry, I keep ducking underwater here. But anyways, that's kind of what I want to do there. Just getting a little bit of extra bits of color in here, add some contrast to the build. And I think it helps actually bring out a lot of the kind of just general shape of it. Just adding in that strip along there and kind of dividing it all up. Now to tackle the sails. All right, everybody, welcome on back. So it's been quite a while since I brought you guys in. And unfortunately, I struggled so much with these masks. These things were probably one of the hardest things I've had to build in a long time. For some reason, they just were not clicking with my brain. Uh, so I went ahead and just got the base shape in for them and kind of finished up what it's going to be looking like. I did record a clip for it and it sounded awful. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that out of this episode. Uh, but yeah, so what we're at right now is we got our masks in. They're looking here pretty awesome ready to go now that it's probably it was about two hours of work just trying to get this so that shows how much i struggled with it we got some spruce fences in here as kind of like that net railing or not railing. i don't know those like nets that you'll see in ropes kind of holding everything up uh so we got all this stuff the sails are like tied up ready to go so when they leave they can just unfurl them they'll drop down kind of connect into the bottom points of the the wood bits and then they'll go from there that being said though i really do like the uh, look of these that we have going on so far uh, I did go ahead and install a staircase down here to get into the base, kind of flattened out the floor here a bit, made it look a lot better. Uh, it feels massive down here. With this block gone, that oak floor block, it feels so small. Adding that in and filling in the space actually made the whole space feel a lot bigger. So fun tip that you guys can be using there. However, one thing I do want to work on now though is for these sails, I wanted to go ahead and come in with some light gray wool. I don't have shears on me, so we're kind of stuck here. I think, is the ax the fastest one? I don't know, that was that was pretty quick, so we'll go ahead and use this. But I wanted to go ahead and kind of have these little like dots of the light gray wool throughout this area because I feel like we can go ahead and make the sails look a lot more interesting than they are right now with just the white on them. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way that I can get up here onto the top. Maybe we can ender pearl. How about we just throw an ender pearl right up to the top of this guy? Uh, we can go like right up in here, do all this stuff. So we got kind of these like pad, I just want to like dot them in. I don't know what the full like pattern would be for how this would all kind of like list everything here together, not list it, but like how it'd be displayed if it's like a checker pattern or something like that. So I'm just gonna go through and like leave them in dots and I think it'll look pretty cool for the overall look uh, is my is my hope. Uh, can we get out here? Cool, perfect, thank you. Uh, but I wanna go ahead and dot a few of these guys through here. I think it'll make it look a lot better. 
uh, just adding extra little bits of detail throughout, making it, again, just these builds kind of pop out that much more, make them that much more unique than what they were previously. So that's kind of what we're doing right here. Uh, I'll tell you guys what though, let me go ahead and get the gray in here throughout. I'm probably gonna go ahead and detail up the deck of the ship as well, because our episode's getting up here pretty far now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some like crates and things inside the ship, maybe put some things underground. Uh, I'll be back with you guys as soon as we got that up here and ready to go. It should be looking pretty cool though, but let's take a quick look at this guy before I let you guys go here. So what do we got? That, I actually like that. I like this mostly being white, which is a little bit of light gray dotted in throughout it. I think that'll be really cool. Let me go ahead and do this work, guys. I'll be back with you soon. All right, welcome on back, guys. So we got all this stuff here built up, ready to go. Boat's looking pretty freaking awesome from over here. And I am super happy with the end result so far. And the salmon over here is wiggling, wiggling his butt because he is super, super excited and super happy about it as well. But yeah, I want to go ahead and show you guys kind of a few things I've been working on over here. I want to make it look like this thing was mostly unloaded, I guess you could say, or it's really like, it doesn't have a whole lot on it. It's maybe either it was unloaded or they're just packing it up. So we got a little gangplank to walk out to get onto here. Nothing's quite up in this area yet. I think I'm going to leave this blank for now. However, down here I did go ahead and add in some crates, a few chests, some stuff barred back by some signs, and then just a few torches around to make it feel a little bit better and brighter. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of that one. We, that's okay. There'll be five spawning spots right up there. That's okay. Down here I decided to just detail up the front area so kind of when you're looking down inside you can see a little bit of stuff down there. But the back area, not quite detailed up yet. That's totally okay though. Overall, super happy with how this boat is turning out. I think it's looking pretty cool. However, being down here has made me realize one thing, that this wall right here really sucks. For some reason, I went through, I'm trying to find a ladder so I can quickly get back up, but I went through and detailed out this whole lower base area down here. All that stuff has the texture variation we want on it, but for some reason, I didn't do the above part. So we're gonna talk here for a little bit about something that a lot of people have left comments about for the last little while. Decidely Vanilla. What's going on with Decidely Vanilla? There's hasn't been a video up for, for a while and there's kind of a reason for it, guys. And I, a lot of you might be upset by this. A lot of you who are fans of the series, I know you might be a little upset by me saying this one, but probably not gonna be happening for the next little while. Uh, I found myself consistently being the only person online when I was playing on the server and there wasn't a whole lot of activity from the group more than two to three weeks into the series uh, or into the new season, which was fine. Like I get it, other people are busy as well, but it basically turned it into I had two single player uh, vanilla survival series on my channel and that was it. I wasn't doing anything else and I was just doing, oh man, dang it. Uh, I was doing two single player vanilla survival series with nothing else mixing it up. All it was was there. And the only difference was that on one world, maybe one in every six times I logged in, there was somebody else on the server, which was cool and all, but I felt like I was really alone and I got really, really demotivated in both series. I had a really, really hard time trying to find motivation for both series. And this one is kind of the one I always come home to. This is kind of my, my home base, my YouTube home base. This world here is kind of where I want to be focusing on a lot and kind of building up throughout the channel because I have the most amount of fun here. And with that, it turned into a lot of the decidedly vanilla stuff kept getting pushed back. It kept getting pushed back and then I kept trying new things. And I a few times I got messed up by YouTube because they didn't like push my video out to people. And then that was super demotivating as well. And just overall, it just came time and time again. Little problems kept happening and I just was not having fun with it. I really, really enjoyed the group of people that I was playing with on the server or you that were members of the server. I couldn't say that I was playing with them on the server because with my work schedule, I hop on very rarely. I put a lot of hours in throughout, but it's like five minutes here, 10 minutes there type thing. And so I was very much alone on the server. And when I was hopping on doing that type of stuff, I felt like myself constantly being the only one on there. I don't want to be this as some ranty, poor story whip, oh no, blah, blah, blah. But I just wanted to explain to you guys a little bit about what was going on for me and kind of where that series has been going. It's not that I'm not grateful to be part of that group. It's not that I wasn't able to like do things like I kept, I could have kept going with it. I could still keep going with it. But for me, the motivation was just not there because I kept finding myself alone on the world which wasn't really a whole lot of fun for me. I really 
got burnt out very, very quickly when I had two of the exact same series going, basically. The only difference was in this one, I have lots of resources I can build with. All my tools are readied up, ready to go. Good, solid stuff that I can use just right off the bat, and I'm good to go and start building. Whereas the other one, I had to spend a many, many additional hours gathering resources, getting tools repaired, getting farms set up, and things like that. Granted, the server was doing a lot of that stuff for me, but overall, I just kind of got burnt out. That, I just wanted to explain that to you guys here a little bit. I'll tell you what, though. Let me go ahead and finish up texturing up this wall here, and then we can go ahead and end this episode off. And with that, guys, I think we are good to go here. The wall behind me is completely textured up. Also trying this new shaders intro outro thing. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and treat that decidedly vanilla little chat we were having there because I was replying to a few comments. I know I didn't pick one out ex uh, specifically, but I just want to go ahead and... Leave that one in there for the comment of the day. We'll get back to that stuff regularly planned moving forwards here very, very shortly. Um, I did go ahead and bring in the texture variation like I was talking about throughout this entire way throughout here. Pretty happy with it. I did want to come back in here with you guys real fast and see if we can't go ahead and just like maybe add in a few little bits and bobs around the place kind of like this. Just adding some extra bits of detail. Uh, just kind of make it look like there's actual life going on down here. It's a dock after all. They'll have some storage and things going on all over the place but figure that'd be kind of a cool way to do it just a few little bits of crates like even if we just do like that right there just helping to break up the straight line that we have here uh obviously it'd be a dock so there'd be some stuff down here but we want to keep it fairly open so that it remains functional uh let's not do that let's just go ahead and throw the chest right on top of that guy because obviously they're trying to move a lot of cargo in and out of these areas so there'll be a lot of stuff going on down here so they don't really want to be blocking the ways completely with everything so as long as we got this good base right here where you can quickly walk up and down it i think that's doing great also loving the shaders on the water we're seeing all that uh, update aquatic stuff down below underneath the water so so cool Guys, though, that's going to do it for today's episode. Everybody, thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you on the flip side.